You have incoming call from work number. Okay, uh, you've seen my demo of Google Home announcing I've got an incoming call and who's calling me. I'm now going to show you a quick video of how to set it up. Before we continue, this will only work on Android phones. Sadly, it will not work with iPhones. So if you're an iPhone user, I'm sadly this isn't going to work. Okay, I'm going to need to download a couple of apps. The first app we're going to need to download is an app called Tasker. It can be found on the Play Store. So if you want to continue and download that, once that's downloaded, continue watching the video. Okay, the second and final app that you're going to need to download for this project is an app called Autocast. Again, can be found on Play Store. Once you've downloaded both apps and they've been installed onto your phone, we're going to go on to the next step of configuring everything. Okay, one quick step we need to do just before we get on to task and creating the profiles is we need to let Autocast to know what devices you have within your house. So click on the Autocast app and this is the screen you'll be presented with. First thing we're going to do is click on manage cast devices at the top. Okay, uh, your list will be blank as it's the first time open it. We need to click on the plus symbol at the top. Okay, this will now give you a list of devices that are compatible with Autocast within your Wi-Fi that your phone is logged on to. In my case, I've only got one, which is the Google Home Mini that's in my kitchen. So I've named it Kitchen Mini. I'm going to click on that. There is the device that's now on the list. If I had more devices that I wanted to let Autocast know I've got, I would just click on plus again and select the next device. That would then be added onto a list and I'll just keep going and show all the devices that I want is on the list. Okay, the next step is going to be going over to Tasker and creating a profile. Okay, we're almost, almost there. In the last stage we added all our Google Home devices to Altcast. I've closed that app and we're now going to open the app called Tasker. So we open that app. If it's the first time we've opened it, it's going to look blank like this, that's fine. Okay, we're going to click on the plus symbol at the bottom right of the screen. We're then going to click on event, which is the third option down. We're then going to select the phone category. We're then going to select phone ringing. Now this is where you have a couple of options available to yourself. Uh, first option is you have Google Home or Google Mini announce every incoming call that's coming into your phone, no matter if they're in your contact list or not. The second option is you choose when it announces the calls. So if you want it to announce literally any call that comes in, then don't follow the rest of what I'm about to say until I tell you to carry on. And for everyone else, this is the options we've got. So if we click on the magpie symbol on the top right, it now gives us the options of when Google Home is going to make an announcement. We can choose just for one specific person and every other person and every other call is ignored. We can choose only people that are in our favourite contacts to announce to Google. Everyone else is ignored. Or we can do a contact group and then anyone that's in that group will be announced to Google Home. Anyone else will be ignored or we can go to any contact. Now this is the one I normally select, which is any contact. Therefore, if you get an incoming call and they are in your contact list, therefore you know them, Google Home will announce it. If you get an incoming call from someone you don't know, hence they're not in your contact list, then Google Home will not announce it. So in my case, I'm gonna click on any contact. Now this is where if you decided to have, no matter who called you, or if you've gone through the options I am, 
everyone is going to press the backward arrow by event edit. We now click on new task. It's now asking us to name that task. You can name it anything you want. It's not going to make any difference to the performance of this project. Just name it something that's meaningful to yourself so in the future when you look back you'll know what this task does. So I'm just going to call it GH as in for Google Home and incoming call. And then we press the tick symbol. Okay, now we're going to set up the task. Now we have two options here again. The first option is like you saw in my demonstration video, it playing an audio clip first, which in my case is a ringing phone that I've just downloaded off the internet. Then it does the speaking part, telling me that I've got an incoming call and announcing the contact name. Second option is to not have the audio file playing out first, and just have it simply playing out the spoken, uh, so speaking text part of incoming call from a new contact name. So for people that want the audio file to play out first, like the video, then the text, follow on. For people that want it just simply to have text, hold fire for the moment and wait until I get to action three and I inform you and then you can carry on. Okay, so we're gonna do the first option first, which is having the audio file coming out. So we click on the plus symbol. We're gonna click, click on plugin. We're then gonna click on autocast. And we're gonna select the top option, autocast. Okay, by the word configuration, there's a little pencil symbol. We're gonna click on that. And at the very top option it says cast device, device to cast on. So we're going to click on that. And it will give you a list of any Google Homes or Google Home Minis that you, in the very first step, told AutoCast that you have. I've only got the one. I'm going to click on Kitchen Mini. The device you select is the device that the audio is going to be played out from. Okay, second option down is Screen, Screen to Cast. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to select full screen media, the second option down. Okay, then we're going to go into the third from bottom part of this, which is full screen media elements. So we're going to click on that. And we're now going to click on audio, second option down. And we're going to click on the top option, which is audio song to play. A little bit misleading, it's not necessarily a song we're going to play, we're just going to play an audio file that's been stored on your phone. So you need to either record an audio file, download an audio file from the internet, it's just a local audio media file that's stored on your phone. So we'll click on the top one here, and it's asking me, need help selecting a file, I'm going to click yes on this. And then this will give me an option of downloads and other drives that I've got and so on. Now, I believe most phones come with standard file manager. I've downloaded an extra one which is ES File Explorer, which is just one I prefer. So whichever one you've got, file manager or ES File Explorer, whichever one you've got, you click on. Now this will show you your phone. It will give you the last folder you looked at. So in my case, I've, this was the last thing I looked at. If I click on the backward arrow, that will take me back a directory. Now this is all directories on my phone. Now you need to go to where you've stored your audio file. So in my case, I've stored it in recordings. And there's the audio file of the phone ringing that I've downloaded and put onto my phone. So we're going to select that. Then I'm going to press the back button on my phone. Press the back button on my phone again. And then I'm going to click the tick symbol up the top. I'm then going to click the back arrow 
near action edit. Okay, there's our first first action within the task, which is going to play the audio file to Google Home or Mini. So we now do a plus symbol again. And this time, where it says the word filter down the bottom, I'm going to click that and I'm going to type the word in wait. Then I'm going to select wait. Now, Tasker will, in your task, perform every action one after the other. So if I didn't put this wait in, what it would do, it would play the audio file, start playing the audio file, but then straight away start doing the text. Therefore, cutting out the audio and playing the text. Now, we want it to play the audio file first, wait until the audio file has been played, then do the text. So I know that this audio file I've done of the ringing phone is eight seconds. That time will vary depending on how long your audio file is. So uh, if you play that audio file, time it, see how long it is, and then put that in how many seconds here. Okay, we've done that. Now I'm going to press the back arrow near action edit. Now we've set up for it to first at the top to play the audio, then it's going to wait. We're now going to do the part that does the speaking part. So for anyone out there that doesn't want the audio file to play out first and just simply wants the text to play, uh, so it speaks but doesn't play the audio first, this is where you need to continue and follow what we're doing. So we're going to press the plus symbol. We're going to go to plugin. We're going to go to autocast. And this time we're going to select the bottom option, which is speak. Okay, we're going to click on the pencil symbol near the word configuration. And the top one is device. So we click on device. This is where you select which device you wish the text to come out. Ideally, you want to select the same device that you had the audio file, if you're going to have the audio file first. If you're not going to have the audio file first, then you're selecting the device that you want the text to come, the spoken words to come out from. So I'm going to select Kitchen Mini. Now we're going to click on Text, the third option down. Now the first part of this is it's going to speak whatever I type. So I'm just going to type in this case, you have a incoming call from, now as I said, this will speak exactly what I've typed in this first part. So you don't have to have what I've had here. You could change it to saying, saying for example, Steve, your mobile phone's ringing, the person that's calling you is, or whatever kind of text you, whatever you want it to speak. The last bit, this is the important bit, we're gonna put percentage symbol, and then the word, and then let's see, and then name. Now what this will do is, when Google Home or Mini reads this out, Anything that's not got a percentage symbol in front of it is going to read out exactly what you've typed. But at the end here, where I've put a percentage symbol and C name, that is going to be changed automatically to whoever is in the contact list who's phoning you. So if I've got Steve calling me, it will read out, you have an incoming call from, then it's not going to read out percentage C name, that is going to read out instead Steve, because that's the person who's calling me. Okay, so we press the OK, and then we press the tick symbol at the top, and then we're going to press the back arrow near action edit. Now if anyone wants the audio playing out first, then the spoken text, you're going to have three bits here. For anyone that doesn't want the audio file first, and just wants simple text, you're only going to have, well I've got number three, that's going to be number one and nothing else below. But that's fine, that's okay. Okay, we're going to press the back arrow again. And that is it configured and set up. As it stands at the moment, Tasker 
currently isn't live. So therefore when I receive a call, it's, the phone's going to react as it normally does and nothing extra. To activate Tasker and to do what I've told it to do, we click on the three dots beside the magnifying glass and we go to, apologies I've already got it disabled, let's try it again, three dots and click on enable Tasker. Now when I click on that, Tasker is now live. I can exit this this application, I can exit Tasker, I can go back to a normal operation on the phone and Tasker is running in the background. Therefore, when a call comes in, it will announce onto Google Home. If for any reason I don't want it to do that and I want to switch this off, I don't want Tasker to run in the background, I don't want it to be announced, I'm, I'm at an early night, I'm going to bed, I don't want it to announce, I can simply click on the three dots and go to disable Tasker. Therefore now, Tasker is not running in the background. So if I had enabled Tasker, closed the app, it's running in the background, if I then want to disable it so that it will not be running in the background, it will not be performing any actions, all I simply have to do is open the Tasker app, click on the three dots, and go to disable. Okay, that is all that's needed to be done. I hope that's helped. Any questions, feel free to message me on Facebook, message me on YouTube, or any threads that I've put this video on, and I'll try my best to help you. Okay, thanks for watching the video and I hope this is of interest to some people.